Hello everybody, Josh 2008 here, back with some Euro Truck Simulator, episode number 7, I think. Let's talk about possible business opportunities here. We have loans available, uh, and other things available for our garage. Really possibly looking at uh, upgrading. Alright, with the tiny garage, I'm going to upgrade it to the small garage, which gives us three bays, which gives two of the trucks we can buy. With higher drivers that will work for us and make money. So, cost of upgrading to small garage 108. Now, obviously, it says upgrading to big garage, but we have to upgrade to small first. So this is a big, uh, big uh, buy here. Uh, we could also buy another garage for 180 as well. So, it's the same thing as buying another garage, but uh, I think it's just worth maxing out this big main, like, your main garage here first. Whoa, I'm sorry. I probably, uh... There, and I bumped the microphone, so I may have gotten some more camera. I'm sorry. Um... So, we got money to the bank. We have $400,000 available to us. Could go all out with this money. Well, a truck, a new truck is going to cost what a hundred. What much do we need? A new truck is going to cost us a little over a hundred thousand. The garage is going to cost us hundred eighty, so that's about three hundred thousand we need. Uh, it's worth. It's actually more worth it to do this because you get like four of them, three of them. That's what. Say that's three thousand, three six nine. You're going nine thousand credit box. So we're just going to do this. Plus you still have this, and you also pay more just to believe in this. So, it doesn't matter, it's done now. <laughs> um, uh, how do we do this? Um, I did this before, am I missing something? Oh, upgrade. That's exactly what we want to do. Yes, I do! Should have a uh, motion picture here. So here we go. So woods. Yeah, except it's nighttime. You can't see it. Yay! Now we got a bigger garage. That's three bays. Now, what we need to do is buy a new truck. Rebecca, no. Uh, did do have a Volvo. Let's see. Okay, but we have to have five trucks first. Let's see what Volvo trucks are available to buy. If not, I'll just go back to Renault. Uh, there it is again, man. I, I wasn't sneezing at all. I don't swear. I mean, my nose is fine. 15 minutes ago. So I was recording while some of my nose. I don't know why to go back to that crap again. That's 99,000. Is this one locked already? Engine car. They're not locked. This one is 540 horsepower. Yeah! That's only, only 100,000 dollars. Oh yeah! I'm buying this thing right here right now. Totally! Yes, I do want to drive my new truck. Actually, no, 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 no. I don't. No, not right now. 
is the knob gonna be stuck in there. I want this to go right here. Okay, now we need to go um, garage. How do we do this? Can I do it before? Relocate. Can I do it this way? Is exactly what I want. All right, now we need to hire a driver. We could almost go out here and just buy another truck too. You can buy another one of these things and hire another driver. Max it out. We got enough money. Let's do this. This is everybody. Not a whole lot of selection. I have Tina before. She's really good. But is it, are they the same? I'm not exactly sure. Michael is actually good. That's a uh, good um, aspect here. Prospect. Let's go with Michael. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And now we need to. What else was I just going to do? Or what we could do go to the bank instead of buying. We could just repay this. That was the. That was a good choice. And okay. I think that's all I wanted to do. Now we need to go. Where are we now? Are we back in Frankfurt? Yeah, we're in Frankfurt. And you guys, this is our new garage right here, boys. Boys and girls. Alright, I want to go to the... I want to go to the... Up I want to just upgrade to the available for us. I almost feel like, I almost feel like uh, my uh, normal world now because we get a better truck. I didn't realize you could get a better truck this early in the game. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to go over here and see what upgrades are available for us. And then we're going to have to take a sleep and then we'll look for a job. It definitely feels a lot better now. We'll feel what it feels like we're going to move. Whoa, 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 so, oh my gosh, I don't think I hit him though, that's ridiculous. Alright, I'll go, don't just sit there, you do this crap all the time, people. You know what, I'm gonna sit there and then screw you. I don't, and now you move after I get out of the way. No, 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 no. There we go, some damage on that new, brand new truck that doesn't even have like, a mile on it yet. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna fix the truck. Actually, we got no damage. Cool. Uh, let's just do the paint shop first. See, where's the stormy blue? That's kind of cool, but I'm not doing it. Actually, that black looks pretty badass, in my opinion, but. 
do. I don't even remember what our other truck looks like. Is it blue? Is it like a bluish or is it? No, I'm not doing yellow. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's kind of hot right there. Like an orange. That's a really bright red. Holy crap. I don't know why I found that appealing at all. I'm going with that. I don't know why. I, don't, I, I like it, but I don't at the same time. Cool things we can buy for this truck already. No. Just some basic lights here. Well, it's better than nothing. We actually haven't got. We haven't actually done this at all in the other truck. Maybe we'll have to for whoever drives it. I'll go with that. It's more badass. Wait till we get, we'll, we'll get better ones. Uh, we don't have stock, actually. Now we do have stock. Oh, I think the aftermarket looks better, even though the stock is more expensive. Let's go with this, and then we can get some, uh... We get some of these. We'll get better ones later. Get some lights up on this thing. What do we got here? Let's go with these. Nothing for the wheels or any other stuff yet. Right, that's cool, I guess. Now we have to turn the mice on somehow. How do we do this? We need to go to cabin adjustment. Just lights, front and roof auxiliary. That's all we needed, I guess. And all right, so let's um. Now we need to go to sleep. We can go to sleep either here or we can go over to. We can actually sleep in our garage. Sleep in our garage. You sons of bees, you better let me over, or else you're gonna get pounded. <laughs> that sounds really dirty. <laughs> you, are you serious? You're a dick. Yo, who let me? Is it, yeah, she, it's a girl, I think. It's because she would have hit me. That's how you do it, boys and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Oh! Are you serious? I just got screwed. That's, that's that's how you do it, boys and girls, and then that's how you get screwed, boys and girls. That's kind of what we're going for. And I'm not going to back up so this person can eventually go. And they better go. Right, go, 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 go. I'm not going to go, right? He, now he made me hit the truck behind me. Are you serious? Dick move. Dick move. Well, I don't know if you guys heard that, but uh, if you did, it was just a... Uh, just a uh, SimCity finish under it. Got a job. 
I guess we can start it. Hopefully we can finish it. To rest. All right, we're gonna rest. Hey, look! You already gave us some income, guys. You gave us a thousand bucks. <laughs> All right. Just because I'm gonna save this, guys. I'm saving it. Uh, but anyways, we need to get a freight. 19 grand. It's a long trip time. What? That's not even the one I just clicked on. What the hell? Uh, but it's it's all boat ride, so take that's about like that's an 11 hour trip. 11 hours out of that, you're now into like 16 hours. It's still fairly long. It's alright, we need, we need the money. Ten hours is just as much money though. Almost all these are the same. Land distance is the same, so you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna do this just because I I feel like it. Dang! Screw me up, there, boys. Maybe we'll drive up to the to the ferry and then we'll stop. We'll see one time. Oh, that turn did not go very well at all. That was massively bad. Yep, take it that one. Turn left here, and then we're off. Actually, then finally on the highway for our trip. I think we're going to what the Carlisle. Uh, we have uh, there's actually a Carlisle that's actually that's actually near. There's actually a few towns in this game uh, that are towns that are actually near me. Um, not necessarily that the same town, but I mean the same town name. Like the Mannheim, there's a Mannheim near me, there's a Carlisle near me. There's one or two others, I think. Uh, there's a Glasgow, I think, in London, or in UK somewhere. 
Uh, there's a glass cow. It's not really near me, but um, it's about two hour, hour and a half ish away from me, I guess. That's not too bad, but we passed another one at the beach. Uh, there's one or two others, I'm almost positive, but I can't think what they are. I think it's kind of funny. This is a tall loot. It's actually kind of wide, too. So we're going to have to be careful of that. Just see those things sticking out. We're going to have to be careful of that. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Actually, it looks like it went over the guardrail. Did it go over the guardrail? Oh, let's test this out. I just don't want to get too close. Yeah, it looks like it went over the guardrail. Well, that's that guardrail. But all the guardrail is about to say, look, she made us more income. How did she make us more income already? She's made us another 540 bucks. Well, euros, I guess it actually is, but. Same concept overall, really. Fuck is definitely a lot better than what we're used to. Now, when I try uh, buy trucks for other drivers, you know, I'm not going to buy the same truck. I'm going to buy just random trucks. Whatever plate you buy, whether it's a Scania or Man or you know, Volvo. I'm going to probably buy one of those brands. Probably won't go with Vecca. Probably won't go uh, the other sales. Are probably Majestic. I'll probably, Majestic is one of the worst I've seen in this game. And Vecca is the next one to bottom line. I'm surprised at the price of this truck though. If I went on a 40 horsepower for uh, only $100,000, that was pretty cheap. And I'm surprised we had it unlocked already. But, uh, you see, you're going to see a big difference now in time. It's going to massively change now. Because we're going to a lot faster. Which we do need to be careful of because. Still running on the 4x2 chassis, which means we can easily tip this thing, especially at high speeds. So we do need to be a little careful yet. Uh, when we upgrade this thing to like a 6x4 chassis or whatever it is, um, we can take a little bit more, uh, less care. Not that we don't need to be careful, but it's a, it's a lot harder to tip. Definitely, this is a lot uh, better to, to drive around with the truck than the other one we had. Um, you can look at our speed differences here. So yeah, I don't know really what to discuss, I don't have a major thing on my mind right now. Like I normally have been. I'm just extremely excited and ready for our live stream week. Yeah, there's people to talk about all the time. But I want you guys to be there. So I want you to check it out. Links are in the description. As always, make sure to follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. I definitely recommend to follow oh, screw the video fence. Definitely recommend to follow me on Twitter, then you know what's going on at all times. And uh, you'll know when I go live instantaneously. Um, you, you'll know when I go live on Twitch, even if you give me a follow, too. Uh, so do one or the other, or both. I recommend both. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, links to all that are in the description, so please check it out. Uh, and thanks for watching this as well. That's not why I'm talking about that. I just thank you for watching. And stick around and just keep watching all my, all my content. Got to turn up here. Might have to slow down a little bit. Because I don't want to tip the truck. 
So if you are a fan of this game, you're watching me specifically for this game, and I'll still recommend uh, watching my live stream week next week. Um, as we will be playing this game at some point in time. Not sure when, uh, but we will. Uh, regardless, if you, even if you do miss it, uh, I probably will be posting it up here on the YouTube. Uh, just because I'm probably going to be using this world that we're on right now. And since it's a YouTube world, you know, I'm going to push it to YouTube, obviously. So. But it's definitely a lot better to watch when you're watching an actual live stream. Plus then you can chat. Plus then you can chat with me and stuff like that. So. There's a constant, uh, there's always a chat going on, so I mean, I could ask a question and actually get a response instead of asking a question and waiting or not getting a response because it's YouTube, not live stream. Uh, you know, and I go and I don't know what to talk about, then just all of a sudden someone brings something up and that could be a rampage for half an hour. Something to talk about, you know. Last year is definitely fun. Uh, honestly, my opinion, I think it's a lot easier to. Uh, crap, 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 there we go. Got it saved. Uh, live streaming is actually a lot easier to get noticed. A lot easier to put on a community, uh, be part of the community, uh, and to further everything in this kind of kind of gaming content, LP and kind of stuff. Live streaming, at least on Twitch TV, which is where I go, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot easier, honestly. Uh, I mean, if you have the time to really devote, uh, you know, to to doing that, uh, it's a lot. It's actually a lot easier uh, to do and, and succeed and actually become uh, noticed. Uh, and I would definitely recommend that. Uh, actually, you know. Before trying to do YouTube, obviously that's not how it happened for me. Uh, I, I I enjoy doing YouTube almost a little bit more than live streaming. Although I think this week, next week, I'm going to really enjoy it, and I'm really going to want to live stream a lot more. Uh, and I would live stream if I had the opportunity more. It's a problem I just don't. Uh, but I mean, I, I love you know doing the YouTube uh, videos and stuff like that. <clears throat> I mean, I, I just like sitting here. You know, recording, um, just talking about whatever. You know, I don't have to. I don't know. It, it, it's complete. It's it's not completely different, but um, it is a com it is a lot different of a feeling compared to recording for YouTube. Just comparing to recording content that's live on Twitch. Um, there is a difference in, in just kind of how you feel and how you act um, and how things just flow. I think I had, st I had stated before um, one of my other videos about live streaming and, and all that stuff. Uh, live streaming, well, let's start with YouTube. Uh, producing content for YouTube is a lot more, in my opinion, as a member, this is all my opinion, it's a lot more of a formal, uh, formal scene. It's, it's really. I'm trying to think of another word to say besides it's formal. Uh, but I can't 
can't think of it at the moment. It's a lot more professional, I guess. And this is this is like a professional, a professional um, vintage of me, or view of me, or whatever you want to kind of call it. Um, this is, as far as this business, this is the professional side of the business. Uh, live streaming is more like a bonus. Uh, live streaming is what you kind of do. So say YouTube was your complete full-time job, and that's all he did. So like, like being alone, for example, you know, it's all he does. You know, um, just doing anything else. Really, um, his own his own income is all off YouTube, you know, whatever. So you don't have to take him, for example. Let's take anybody. Say, so say, say, for example, for me. So that was YouTube was the only thing I did. That's where my earnings went to the income was really, and you know, that's my full-time. I put 40, 50 hours a week into it. That's, that was my full time thing. So say that, that was my job, you know, and <clears throat> so that would be like my job, like I said. And that's where I that's where I show my professionalism. And, you know, at your job you should always be professional. Uh, what you're doing, you need to show a lot of professionalism, a lot of respect um, toward whoever you're working with and whatever you're doing. Obviously you're not really say working with other people. Uh, although you, you if you're recording with somebody else, uh, but as far as your viewers, I mean, you need to be respectful, you need to be uh, professional about it, you know, and that, that's your main job. And so, live streaming really uh, is a lot more of it's just chilled back, relaxed, you know, kind of um, so you're just chilling off of work, you know. You're not, you're not at work really now, you're not, you're just a, you're just relaxing, you know, the chill, fun time, you know, just hanging out, basically, kind of a thing. I, I don't know if that uh, quite makes you understand what I'm trying to say or not. Um, now, I mean, for somebody that who so income now is, say, off of live stream, like Twitch, a lot of people, who, that's all they do is live stream full time, they don't really do YouTube. Part time for them if they even have that. I mean, now then that changes the whole aspect of the scenario. So now live streaming, then see that that's what I don't I mean, that's what I don't want to do, and that's how I don't want it to be for me. I want live streaming to just be laid back, relaxed. I don't want to have to show straight up 100% you know the whole time. That was the best if we made that turn. Holy crap. I don't want to have to show all that professionalism aspect on live stream. You know. Uh, it's just too much. It's I mean it's I mean, that's that's you know let's say you're live stream for eight hours a day. That's you know, eight hours straight up is professionalism that you have to show in front of everybody. You know, thousands of people if you're doing, you know, thousands of people if that's you know, that's about on average what a, a good person who's making full-time living off of like, Twitch TV or whatever. Usually about a thousand view mark. Um, it's usually the good plus rating, you know, I've seen above. Uh, I may be wrong, I'm just throwing some windows that I've seen, and from what I understand. Uh, but you need to at least hit that, you know, one thousand view mark to really... Uh, I mean, obviously you can get partnered and subscribed, subscribe up before that. But I'm just saying where you can sustain that, and that's all you can do uh, to make a decent amount, at least. It's about that few points. Anyways, that's, that's not what I'm trying to say. I mean, uh, I give props to the people who, you know, who can stream for 8 to 10 hours but on a consistent basis, you know. That's actually a lot of, that's a lot of um, dedication, and it's a lot more, I think it's a lot, honestly, I think it's a lot harder than, than doing YouTube. As far as working and stressing and stressing out and, and, and staying professional and all that, all those aspects of it. Let's say something else on that aspect and I completely forget what it was now. Um, but I mean, say you're doing YouTube, you know, for example, like if you're doing YouTube, my average video is about a half, I try to make, a, I try to make about half hour episodes. 
that obviously give or take. Uh, a lot of times we're using a little less, but sometimes a little bit more. But I try to shoot by half an hour. So, you know, whether it's one time sitting and recording or two multiple sessions of recording to make the half an hour, that's still only a half an hour that I have to show, you know, my professionalism. Uh, I mean, obviously, when you, when you make other things as far as how you advertise yourself and stuff like that, there's a lot of professionalism in that, too. But it's a little different. I mean, you're not seeing... Um, it's a little bit different. That's the advertising professionalism. It's a little different aspect is, and normally isn't as bad as you know professionalism you're seeing for me like right now for example as we're you know doing this LP. Uh, it's a little different uh, in that aspect. Uh, but I mean if you're looking at it just solely of to get noticed the fastest, you know, and you want to succeed ASAP Live streaming on Twitch is really the way to go. That's the, honestly the fastest and the easiest um, and the quickest route. Um, you just have to have dedication. You're not going to succeed on Twitch if you don't have dedication, um, constant dedication to doing it. Streaming, you know, four or five times a week minimum, you know, for a couple hours, for four or five hours. Um, but it's not just that. Also, I, mean, I know people who've been streaming, you know, for a year, you know. If not more, you know, you know, seven, eight hours a day, you know, and they're still having to hit, you know, the 30, 30 view mark, you know, or, uh, it's just because it, it, a lot of that, though, you need to be able to, to talk and chat and other chat rooms and, uh, be a part of other communities, that should be a part of it, but you go to other people, view the people, uh, and, and talk in their chat and, and let them know who you are. That's really a big part of, of, of that job, though. Uh, if you ever watched, say, Bacon Donut on Twitch TV, that's how he got started, honestly. Um, he succeeded so fast in, in this, you know, or in his in a streaming. Uh, you know, I, I pretty much followed him almost right away. Um, or very soon, but I mean, before he started streaming, you know, he was in chat rooms all the time. He was in the chat rooms all the time, talking to other streamers, and so people knew who he was. You know, before really he started streaming, he started streaming. You know, um, so then the streamers, you know, they would raid him or whatever. You know, so you know he would get a lot of viewers who would all of a sudden come to him um, because you know. So if you were, you know, one of your streamers goes offline, he'll always send you uh, somewhere else to watch a stream or whatever. So you know. That happened to him real quick because everybody knew who he was. Oh, um, so that you know, that got him to succeed real quick. I mean, he was, you know, he was partnered. You know, I don't know what time he was partnered. Um, partnered wasn't super fast, um, but the time he was partnered to the time he was, uh, had a subscriber button it was really really quick. Um, one of the quickest turnarounds I've ever seen between a partner and a subscription. It took a little while to get partnered, but <clears throat> that's a lot harder process than to get subscribed, uh, to be honest. Uh, because it takes a lot to actually get to that point. Uh, but I mean, he had the views for getting partnered a long, uh, you know, a long time before he was partnered. You know, he was hitting 100 viewers plus a stream, you know, two or three weeks in the thing, you know. Nancy Pooh, if you ever watched him, he was the same kind of, he was kind of the same way, fell in the boat the same way. Uh, he succeeded really quick. You know, and that was all because of uh, involving a chat room, you know, you know streamers. It's a lot of where that fell out from. To be honest, it's just hooking up with the right guy, or the right streamer, or even the right YouTuber, if it's on YouTube. It's a matter of just, it's a lot of luck. I mean, it's, it's a lot of really luck in which you can somehow eventually figure out and get with somebody that's going to maybe it's a lot better than you. Not say better than you, but it's a lot more popular than you. You know, all it takes is one or two things, you know, and you can really actually just get blown out of the water. In a good way, I mean. Not say pet, but um, in a good way. You can really succeed. That's why co-ops are so important uh, on YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that. This is what I'm going to be doing a lot of here, hopefully, on 
live stream week and stuff. And I think that's going to hopefully be good for my channel and stuff like that too. Because, uh, you know, being a YouTuber and then doing live streaming can also help. I mean, you do have social professionalism, but, you know, you can advertise. It's a great way to advertise on YouTube is, is to, I need to get across here. Because now I can advertise my YouTube every time on Twitch. You know, on Twitch, you know, my YouTube is advertised. So, you know, it's a lot easier to get viewers and stuff like that on Twitch. You know, and I can draw them right to my YouTube and pick up a, you know, a couple subscribers, you know. It'd be awesome to pick up 100 or so subscribers, you know, here on YouTube, actually with my live stream week. And I feel like that's actually possibly doable. And that would be great. I mean, I feel like it's going to be a really good thing for me. It's also, I'm excited to do it. But, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, too, and I'm uh, ready for it. So, I'm not exactly sure how long this episode ended up being, but uh, right here, we're, we're going to take the trip uh, next time. We'll take the trip next time and uh, finish up the trip. It's not really that far at this point. Uh, we're pretty much there, really. Uh, so, anyways, guys, kind of had a really elongated... Uh, talk there, kind of kind of serious uh, note actually, but anyways guys, hope you had fun uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day until next time